Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part five of my web design and programming tutorial. And today we're going to finish up arrays, and I'm going to do a little bit on file I.O. so you know how to manipulate files using PHP. First, I'm going to show you how to convert a string into an array. So let's just create something called country string is equal to, and we'll put the wonderful country of Cuba in here, Spain, India. France, and I'm just picking these at random, and Italy. It's not the order of most liking, so hopefully I'm not deported from the United States for doing this and not including the United States, which is just horrible. Anyway, so here we are. If you wanted to turn this string into an array, you would use the explode function. And what you would do is denote inside of quotes where you want to split all of these parts. So I'm saying here I want to split where the period is located. So Cuba, Spain, India, France, and Italy are all going to go into their individual compartments in our new string. And then I have to tell it what string to explode. This is really dangerous. Saying bad things about the United States and talking about the explode function. And then I'm going to echo to screen the array with the numerical keys. Random country, comma, save that, reload, and you can see it prints out Cuba and Spain, which is the values that lie in the 0 and 1 index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember that from the last tutorial? Well, what if I want to convert that array back into a string? Easy enough. Just call for the implode, the opposite of explode. And here, I'm going to say that I want all of these different values in this array to be separated by commas. And the array that I want to implode is right here. And then where the new string is going to be stored will be country string 2. And if I echo to screen, country string 2, followed by double breaks, save it, reload. And you can see it combined all of them together and put them back into the string. Well, how would I check if the value, for example, India is in the array? I'm going to perform an if statement here. I'm going to call the in array function. And remember, you don't need to remember all of these different functions. I'm just providing all of them to you here. And you're going to learn them well enough as I provide examples throughout the rest of this tutorial. I'm just trying to do this for completionist reasons. India is in the list. Echo, copy, break. File save. And you can see India is in the list is printed because I asked if India was in this array right here. And since the answer to that question was yes, it printed out India is in the list. And what happens if you would want to reverse the order of the array? Well, I'm going to call the printr function, which again is just a print function that prints out arrays in a human understandable manner. And I'm going to call the array reverse function, and it's going to print out to screen that array in reverse. Jump over here, and as you can see, it prints out the countries based off of their index value in reverse, C43210. If you would want to sort the values in an array, there are numerous different sort functions. I'm going to show you one, and then I'm going to list out all the other ones and what they do. And here, I'm going to tell, uh, tell it I want to sort it as if it is a string. There's different ways to sort. It's very important. You could also sort based off of it being a numeric, meaning it's a string of numbers, and that's exactly the different code you would use. Or you would sort regular, which is going to sort based off of ASCII codes, which if you don't know what that means, basically it comes down to this. B is actually going to be considered ahead of A. So this is not commonly used, but I'm just providing it because it is the alternative way for sorting. And now if I call again, I'm just going to grab this guy, copy, print, random, country, followed by another break statement, and save it, and jump over here, and reload. You can see now everything is printed out in alphabetical order. The other way is to do this, if you may notice here, India, for example, now has a new index, which is 3. Up here it was listed as 1. That is because the sort function on its own will pay no attention to index values and reassign those index values. If you did not want that to happen, you would instead call the asort function. And if you would want to sort in reverse order and again pay no attention to the indexes, you would call the rsort function. And if you wanted to sort in reverse, you would call a r s o r t function, and it would keep the keep all the key value pairs where they were at. And if you want to sort 
just the keys, you would call ksort. And if you'd like to sort the keys in reverse, you would call the krsort function. So those are all the different ways you can sort arrays inside of PHP. Now, if you want to populate an array with a range function, uh, let's say with the values of 0 to 50, what we're going to do is I'm going to count array, just create a brand new array here, call the range function, and then tell it to store the values 0 through 50 inside of it. And if I call for each, which I talked about in the previous tutorial, which helps you sort or cycle through arrays as, and let's just give it print num as a name, scroll up here, number opening curly brace, and I'm going to echo to screen, print num, comma, and I'm going to put commas in between all these guys with an extra space, and a closing curly brace, and then the break statement again, just because I like it. Save it, jump over here, reload it, and you can see it prints out the screen, the values 0 through 50. Those are contained inside of the array called the count array. And if you'd like to print out the number of values in the array, you just call the count function. And what is the number that's going to pop up here on the screen? This is a quick quiz. Is it going to be 49, 50, or 51? There you are, 51. Why? Because 0 lies inside of there. For a little bit of file I.O., what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call in all of the values that are stored in a file. And the name of that file is customers.txt. I'm going to throw all these into an array. And just so you know what that looks like, customers, right there. This is what the data looks like. It's a name followed by a street, followed by a city, followed by an abbreviation for a state. Okay, so that's the information that's stored inside of there. Okay, and what this guy is going to do is call the file function, which means it's going to take all of the information stored in this text file and store it in the variable named customers. And customers is an array, and I'm going to call the for each function customers as customer, curly brace. Now I'm going to assign all the keys to all the values in the file using the list function. And I'm going to say the first one is going to be called name, the second one is going to be called street, city, state, because that all makes sense to me. And then I'm going to call the function explode, just like I did previously. And here I'm going to say that all of the different information I want is going to be separated by a comma, and I want them to be automatically pulled out and assigned to these different variables here. And each one of these lines is going to be labeled with the value of customer. And then there is going to be a new line at the very end of state, so if I want to trim that off, we're going to get more into manipulating strings in a later tutorial. But this is how you would use that. You would call the trim function to get rid of that new line at the end of the state variable. And then if I want to print out the results to the screen, it's easy enough. Name, space, street, space, city, space, state, and close that off. And print out the handy dandy break function and the closing curly brace. And if I save it, jump over here, you can see it prints out the name, the address, all on individual lines for you. So that is pretty much everything you can do with an array in PHP if you combine this tutorial with the previous tutorial. And also this is a little bit in regards to how to manipulate and work with files inside of PHP. Up next in the next tutorial, I'm going to cover functions and then jump all over the place with a gazillion and one examples and eventually SQL, MySQL, and anything else you guys have questions about. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.